what's up guys welcome to another video and today we're going to discuss about my modless on the volkswagen so i have this volkswagen for roughly three years still running strong over 100k took care of it and it took care of me so the mods i've done to this car is like the headlights i got the led upgrade instead of keeping that old halogen piece of garbage and it looks great it makes the car looks way more newer makes it more of an updated look next thing i did was my front grill i decided to change it up a bit made the car look a little different um don't know if you notice but i have a front mount intercooler i got it from armed motorsports the next thing i i did was i replaced my side mirror covers i decided to get silver I used to have uh, carbon fiber and it wasn't my cup of tea, so I decided to go ahead and get this. And I think, in my opinion, works perfectly well with these wheels. Now for these wheels, I got these from ECS Tuning. They're called Alzo Wheels, Brandon, and they're pretty good. They look great, and for the price, it's not bad at all. And I don't know if you can see it, but I have uh, drill slotted um, rotors from PowerStop. For the rear of the car, I also had updated tail lights for LED setup. I have a rear wiper delete. Makes the car look a little cleaner. Also have <sighs> eBay exhaust this actually came when I came with the car when I got it and it didn't sound that bad I was ready to, to replace it but I decided to keep it and it's I also got some mud guards or mud flaps and I got them from both rear and the front I don't know if you can see it there we go in my opinion it makes the car a little bit more better and then especially from the rear of the car, looks pretty good. For the interior of the car, I have the aftermarket radio. It sings perfectly with my iPhone and I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Right below that, I have a Black Forest shift knob. Feels comfortable, great quality, it's worth the price. Next thing I got was LED interior lights, front and rear, They're really good. Whoops, there we go. And last but not least, uh, my Cobb access port. Had this for over two years. It's been great to me. I love it because I'm able to keep up with my, uh, my gauges, like oil temp and all that stuff. And I could change my tune whenever I feel like. I love it. Another mod I have, which to me is awesome, it's convenient, is we're able to wind my windows down from the outside. So all I have to do is just hold the unlock button and it goes all the way down. And I'll hold the lock button and it go all goes all the way up. Had to get into the garage, it was raining like crazy outside, but it was a perfect opportunity to show you under the car. Let me go ahead and close the garage real quick. For under the car, I have Solo Works coilovers. Uh, these are actually pretty good for the price. Um, there's no dampening, just height adjustment. In addition to the suspension setup, I also have upgraded Sway, link, uh, sway bar and aftermarket link upgraded uh, lower control arm so traditionally it was used, used to be the metal one but I went ahead and got an aluminum it's considered to be stronger and lighter than the stock version um, I also have uh, polyurethane bushing on each as well as for the sway bar and I don't know if you can see it for my exhaust. I have a catless downpipe. 
So that's pretty much it when it comes to all my mods for my Mark 6 GTI. Thank you guys for watching. Um, quick addition, um, guys, stay safe out there. Keep your area clean. Wear gloves, mask, whatever if you need to. This thing is serious, man. And right now, being concerned about others is as important as it is of your own. So stay safe. Have a great day. I see you guys in the next video. Peace. <laughs>